So I wanted to I wanted to talk about one of the comments I get most often, one of the challenges that it appears most often when we're talking about queer relationships. And uh, I've got several ways that people express this, but the I think the, the culminating one is finding a challenge in believing that I am worthy of love. And so when people when people come to me and express this, that they don't feel they have worth, they don't feel they have value, uh, that they don't feel like love is something that's accessible to them. We're usually uh, in an experience together where an exploration ends up uh, going through very deep traumatic wounds. And it, 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 of course, it starts when we're younger because as queer people, the, re the relationships that we're first exposed to are the ones that we fear losing the most, our family. Whether or not we have an adult version of, I don't want to be with them, they're awful people. Um, as children, that's where our safety and security comes from, or at least we hope it does or feel like it should. And when that is either not existent or we realize that there is a fear that it won't exist because we're queer, gay, bi, all of the rainbow umbrella, and we fear that we're going to lose that safety, security, that love, uh, that's the spark of I don't have value, I don't have worth. And it, it can come in so many different, so many different ways, but it usually starts there. And then we start to... Uh, carry that through into other relationships in our lives, especially those that we're assigning value and worth to. And for those of us who might uh, be in a state of feeling like we aren't deserving of love or feeling like we don't have value or feeling like we don't have worth, I think these are very different things, by the way. They just tend to get smushed together. Uh, the experience of exploring them with tarot uh, can be uh, a dive into the shadow side, uh, meaning what are those those hidden things that we might want to pay attention to that we've been conditioned to believe that are a part of us. But once we are aware of them, uh, we can either release them, hold them close, um, know that they're a part of who we are and move forward uh, with a different point of view. So tarot can bring up the shadow side of, of that. Um, why? Why? Why am I in a position where I don't feel value, where I don't feel love, where I don't uh, feel lovable? And uh, sometimes this comes up in the version of, but will he come back? Will he? Um, is she going to um, find a, a new way of seeing me or she, is she going to see the light? <laughs> uh, will they want to be with me like I want to be with them. It, it comes out in, in um, various forms in when someone's sitting across from me. It may not come across directly as I don't feel like I have value or worth. Part of my job is to um, have a deeper conversation uh, and, and change the question into something that has a direct impact on the person who's sitting in front of me. Because when you give away your power, by saying, will they come back to me? Will they, um, in parens, notice that I have value and worth? Uh, that's, that's exactly when they don't because they've moved into their own, they're on their own journey and you've attached yourself to their journey instead of your own and paying attention to where your value and worth is. Because quite often, here's the thing, quite often you have no, let me change that statement. You are value. You are worthy. You are valuable. You are worthy. You are lovable. The opportunity is discover, is to discover where your value, worth, and lovability lies 
within you. And that is an incredible use for the tarot. So I pulled a card on this and said, you know, what's a way that we can view value and worth for ourselves? And the card I pulled from my trusty Heindel is the Son of Cups, as it's also known as Percival in this deck. Uh, the Son of Cups brings us quite the adventure uh, in that the Son of Cups is quite often <clears throat> in love all the time. <laughs> Just everything that they run across, they are in love with, they're in awe of. When something is awesome or you're in awe of, in awe of something. It's that moment where the words to describe what you're experiencing are on the tip of your tongue, but you just can't quite describe it. It is indescribable. The Son of Cups is in that state all the time. And in this expression of how can we find value, worth, and see ourselves as lovable, it is in the unexpressed. It is in those moments where we can't describe everything that is incredible about who we are. And so if you take a moment and reflect on the things that make you you, that are indescribably, that are distinctly you, those are the moments where there is value. Those are the experiences where people will see and experience your worth. Even if you think it's uh, something basic, if you think it's something normal, or if you think it's something a little bit weird and out there, uh, those are the things that people will, will love about you. And if they don't, they're not your people. If they do, they will find a way to be closer to you. So uh, our queer value, our queer worth, our lovability as queer people is inherently tied in the best of who we are. And sometimes it's hard to see those things. It's a great time to go see a tarot reader and have them reflect them back to you and say, these are the amazing things about you. Uh, and, it, and if they couldn't see that, their problem, not yours. You have value, you have worth, and you are lovable. It's time to uncover those things. <laughs>